Hello my fellow scientists. I want to give you an update on the iron battery today. It is going well. We have replaced the nafion in the separator with a natural polymer, just agar. So here you can see the cell. I've just built it the same way as the last one, link in the description. But instead of the paper being saturated with nafion, it's been saturated with this agar. And you can see this is a jello-like substance used for microbiological cultures, so used as a thickener in some cooking, and it has a, a jelly-like hydrogel consistency. And that seems to actually be performing quite well. The rate of internal losses is higher than an avion. That's not surprising. It's just a leakier membrane so that ions can travel through it more easily and discharge the battery just by their very nature. So that's kind of to be expected, maybe a thicker separator could solve that. Uh, but on the plus side, I moved to iron 3 sulfate as the iron 3 source, and that has produced a much more accessible quantity of iron, and the speed of discharge was much faster, was getting 75 milliamps, which is orders of magnitude higher than previously. So that makes me happy. We're going to discharge and charge on a much longer time scale so I can get a feel for the actual full capacity of this battery and its ability to to reversibly charge and discharge. So far, the preliminary results are eh, middling. It looks like at first we get really, really good performance, and then that, either because I'm not fully charging it using the parameters I, I started with, or because it's degrading, uh, the later performance after a couple hours is, is not as good. But the longer term results will tell us if that's a degradation issue or just a less than full charging issue. So we'll update you on that next week. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy that kind of thing. If you do, please tune in every week. We talk about the iron battery right here in the Allen Lab.